Welcome back. Well, as we return back to work and kids return to school from the holidays, 33 states are reporting high to very high case counts of influenza-like illnesses. So how are these winter viruses impacting Connecticut? Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Hector Molina, he joins us live from the studio to explain. Hector. Well, in speaking with the Department of Health today, out of all the respiratory illnesses in Connecticut, the flu actually has the smallest numbers. The department's commissioner says they are much more concerned with COVID and the department's data will show you why. So currently there are just 647 reported cases of influenza this week compared to more than 1,800 the week prior. Now here's why the state is more concerned with COVID. 12 1,274 COVID cases this week compared to more than 3,000 last week. While they're seeing just over 400 cases of RSV compared to more than 900 the week before. So overall numbers seem to be trending down week over week. But the Department of Health still stresses the importance of vaccination as just 14% of the state's population have the latest COVID vaccinations. Health Commissioner Dr. Manisha Jutani had this message for those still hesitant to get vaccinated. Because, you know, I've heard people say to me, well, the vaccine may have this side effect or that side effect that could be long term. That's really not based in fact. The reality is the long term effects of COVID are far more severe than the long term effects of any vaccine that we have out on the market. Now, states that have high-level respiratory illnesses like New York have issued a mask mandate at their local hospitals. We asked Dr. Jutani if that's something we could see here in Connecticut, and she said, well, that would be up to each hospital to apply that mandate. In studio, Hector Molina, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.